This is with RTX off. This is with RTX on. Oh, yeah. Jason Fry says, ask Timmy Joe, I got two MSI RX 570s, four gigabytes for 50 bucks USD a piece, but they have mining biases on them. Could you either make a video or point me on the way to flash them back to a stock gaming BIOS? If you need more info, I'd be happy to provide it. I love the content and look forward to seeing uh, the I other ideas you come up with. Well, thank you, Jason. All right, so this isn't exactly rocket science, but you have to be crazy careful. It really helps if you have a dual BIOS switch. And if you do, switch it. Maybe you have the proper BIOS on the other one. Okay, but if you don't, I don't think your MSI one's going to. This is the steps. So you need to make sure you find the exact one you have. Let's say you've got an MSI Armor RX 574 gigabyte model. And you could even go and look on the back and see if there's any stickers on the back and get some numbers. Google those numbers. Make sure that the one you find is perfect. Then type into Google Tech Power Up MSI Armor RX 574 gigabyte BIOS and maybe even that model number exactly because little variations can screw things up here. But you go to the Tech Power Up, what they use Google in this search anyways. So you might as well just go straight to Google and type this stuff in. And you go here and you find the one that's yours. You got to be 99% sure it looks exactly like your card and it's got the exact same model and the exact same stuff. You could load the wrong BIOS on there and it's fine because it's an RX 570 and it's, you know, whatever. Or you might load it and it just doesn't work. So be very certain. Download this. Then go to Google. Okay, type in ATI flash. The first uh, thing that pops up is uh, the download from Tech Power Up. Click on there. It's this program right here. You download it. You have to actually launch it as administrator. Okay, so right click the EXE, go uh, bring up as administrator. This program loads up and then you want to save. First off, save the original BIOS that's on the card. You know it works with the card somewhat, right? So once you save that file on a place on your computer, you load that BIOS image you downloaded from Tech Power Up, hit program, a bar goes, bzzz, it's on the computer or on the video card. It asks you to restart. You restart. Everything's peachy keen. When it comes back up, you're laughing. But if it doesn't come back up, if you see your BIOS screen and everything, and then you, you know the computer posts, and when you get to Windows, it doesn't it doesn't load. You have a black screen. You have a problem. Doesn't mean the card's dead, but it means you're going to need to do some extra steps. Essentially, you'd have to start Windows in safe mode somehow, which isn't an easy thing to do anymore. You pretty much have to do it from Windows. You can't just load it into safe mode. There, there might be a way, Windows Media or something like that, actually plugging a USB key in. But the best, easiest way is to load another, like put another video card in your computer. It will load up into Windows, one that works, and then use DDU, Display Driver Uninstaller. That's another program. You can probably download it from 3D Guru or, or from Tech Power Up. And then what that does is it completely clears all the drivers out of there. You then put your old card back in and uh, you will be able to actually use it in Windows again because you're going to have no drivers, okay? Because, uh, but actually Windows has started to load display drivers from Windows Update like within seconds of being on the internet. So I would leave your internet disconnected. Put the after you do DDU, put the card back in. It should load with the default VGA driver. Once you do that, you can load that old BIOS back on there and start the whole process over again. I really wish you luck. There's tons of videos out there on how to do this, but the biggest important thing is save the BIOS that's on the card first and find the right one. There are different variations of that same MSI armor card. Be super careful. I wish you good luck, sir. Dimantas Oziegius. Sorry. Hey, Timmy Joe. <laughs> Love your content. I just wanted to ask, how dead are dual GPU? Oh my God. How? I'm thinking about picking up either a HD 79. Are you kidding me? R9295 X2 7990. They are the devil. Don't get them. Sorry, I'm literally in the middle of it right now. They're absolutely horrendous. And as for the performance of, you know, uh, you know what, a 5700 is faster than both GPUs working perfectly on a uh, R9 295. So uh, rather than do that, find like 
what the the most expensive graphics card with one GPU that can you can afford because Crossfire and uh, SLI are pretty much dead uh, for any newer games. I guarantee you will you just won't see the support for it. And even if you're just playing older games, it's it usually requires so much fuck aroundery that it's just not worth it, man. I'm literally dealing with it right now, and that's why I'm doing this episode because I can't get the, this video done because it's. There's a lot going on with it and uh, you know this week and I wanted to put out some more videos so here we are. So don't buy dual GPU cards, absolutely not, especially the two you mentioned uh, because AMD cards are notorious for just not being very good and their drivers sucking after a while. So please don't do it. Elixir says, hey Timmy, in January I bought an A320 and a 2200G and uh, it looks like an RX 360? That's what an R9 360. Ooh, two gigabyte. That's a, and four gigabytes of Ram. Uh, the problem was that every 25 to 30 minutes, I would start getting huge input delays. So I decided to sell that and buy a new 2200 G and a B450 and 16 gigs of Ram. The problem continues. I've reinstalled windows many times, tried different drivers, drives, upgraded the GPU to an RX 580. The problem is still here. I'm a competitive player and everything is unplayable. If I would upgrade to a 3600, do you think the problem would stop or is this a 2200 G thing being weak? The USB ports and the mouse monitor are all tested in my friend's computer and work fine. The temps are fine too, no overclocking. Power supply is a non-branded 650 watt and I have tested it on my friends through the course here. Uh, sorry for my bad English. So, uh, you just I, I hate when problems pop up like this. Like this happens to me sometimes where you literally like start with a problem and you replace every component till you're pretty sure you have a completely different computer and then the problem persists. So you started off with an A320 and you upgraded to a B450 and a different CPU and changed the RAM and the problem continues. Um, your computer is cursed? You, you are cursed? I, I don't know, man. This is one where this just happens. I was actually emailing with a guy very recently about this exact sort of thing. And uh, like it was pretty much down to like the last component that he hadn't changed out. I mean, what about your, um, your your hard drives? You didn't really mention anything about that. I mean, that sounds crazy, but maybe it's your hard drives that are ha you're having the problem with. Maybe you're using a mechanical drive and it's just grinding down and like it's it's having a lot of hard, bad access times. But as far as like you've literally changed almost everything, uh, I was gonna say VRM temperatures, but you say temperatures are fine. I'm sorry, Elixir. I need board information, but um, start with your hard drives, okay? Maybe check out and see, uh, do do some crystal disk mark tests and stuff like that and see what happens there. Otherwise, I don't know, man. CPU coolers not installed properly every single, I don't know, man. I don't know. Hey, Timmy. Shane Callahan, of course. He's from Ireland. Our secondhand parts market over in Ireland. It's shocking to be fair. He's seen a 2060 for sale for 530 euros. It's a lot, Jesus. Last month and it was sold within a day or so. I was going to send it in for a silly ad segment. <laughs> well, from time to time, uh, they get Vega 56s for around 200 euros. Uh, and he was wondering, would I go for a secondhand 50, Vega 56 or save and hold out for a 5700 XT blower uh, for the near 400 or a partner XT card for 500? Uh, NVIDIA is not an option since 1080 Ti is over here for like 600 euros. Help a fellow in the tight spot, please. Our market is diabolical. Not a lot of tech folks. <laughs> Cheers. Um, Vega 56 is good. If you don't mind, like you'd be hard to find a partner model. The blowers on them, like they're, they, they're hot cards, man. They're way hotter than a 5700 is. So, I don't know, like, really, the 5700 alone is much faster than a Vega 56, and a 5700 XT for 400, you know, even just the blower model, is a smoking card. It's almost as fast as a 1080 Ti. I get the whole NVIDIA thing. It's like, uh, people think that NVIDIA are gold, people think that Intel are gold, and they sell those parts for ridiculous amounts. And then you see AMD equivalent cards for like $200 less. It doesn't make sense, but it's just the way plebs kind of think that Nvidia is worth the money so they go they command a higher price unfortunately I would honestly avoid the Vega 56 unless that's all you had to spend or you come across a real good deal on it um, you know what 
it's it's just that much better of a card than 5700 even the bowler model you'd be so much happier over a vega 56. no and thank you sir for calling timmy joe pc tech and thank you for watching i'm at watch timmy joe on instagram and twitter you can check me out there or hit the bell and do all that youtube crap so you know you can know when my next videos come out and uh if you want to be featured on this show ask timmy joe send me an email at asktimmyjoe at gmail.com and maybe you can be featured on the next episode of ask timmy joe ask personal questions about me or more than that ask you know tech support questions let's help you you know we'll figure stuff out together if not in the comments people can help out too so thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys in another video video and uh, I hope your this answers your problem your, your question have a good day hi I'm Gizzy computer price on internet